And first of all, it has something to do with this rampant ageism that y'all got going on. Anytime y'all get... Okay, so I wanted to talk about this because I can't stand when um, Gen Z's, when they always get on millennials, always try to use the ageism. Be like, what? When they get into like an argument with the, with the millennial or whatever, especially, they always want to say, if you guys are older than this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, etc. It's like annoying. But it's funny how they're all about, you know, protesting and stuff like that, you know, because nowadays culture with social media and all that. But then they have ageism where they're discriminating, especially towards the millennials. I, I don't know what they got against millennials, but I was like, one, I was on Twitter and I was like, yeah, definitely us millennials. I'm 31. I'm going to be 32 um, this year. But, like, um, 2024. And then um, I feel like with millennials and Gen Zs, they're, like, always having, like, a versus. And it kind of annoys me. But I feel like with Gen Z, they're kind of, they did, definitely are aging more quicker. Because I think it's the social media apps. It's all the apps that they were able to grow up with that made them act older. And also, they're so on TikTok where they kind of look like... I was like, dang, they already reached that bottom, like, like, really, like, you know, big, or, like, or, you know, like, they look like they're in their 30s or 40s, and I think it's also another thing where it's kind of like, us really, we also have a weirdness where it's like, we kind of, like, like to preserve our childhood, that's why we're, like, so childish, and me, look, I look like a, a freaking, like, immature and all that, but it's just that, I feel like with millennials, we kind of preserve our childhood, because we had, like, the best childhood with, um, the movies, and, and cartoons and stuff in our era, you know, back in the day that we got to watch in our childhood, and while they had apps and social media to grow up with and to do grown-up things with and stuff like that. So I think that's what made them age faster and more quicker was because of them doing everything like lace fronts and, and makeup and everything, because social media is on, like, in the tip of our hands. So it's kind of like that's kind of what got us to be more doing more things on social media and socially or with ourselves and sometimes in the most of them they have jobs where it's like influencers and stuff like that so they don't really have to do like we're trying to go to work for a job or something like that but my mind is like I look like I'm a high schooler which is embarrassing but I'm actually 31 or basically well I do look like or I'm 31 but I'll be 32 and there's some like 23s or 18 year olds where they kind of look like they're already, like, not all of them, but it's just most of them, because, like, not most of them, but, like, some of them look like they're 30 or 40 or something. But I think it's also because of the food, because, um, like what someone else said, where it's kind of like they have more options of foods to eat and stuff like that. And we had, like, we had, like, childish foods or, like, kids' meals or stuff, stuff like that. I don't know. But I do think um, every generation definitely needs to be studied for why they are the way they are and, you know, like, basic, et cetera. So I feel like, you know, like, with boomers, the old people, and then, then um, Gen, Gen X, the the middle um, old people, then millennials, where we're now getting to the old age, but we're in middle, middle age, and then Gen Z, where they're, like, teens or younger generation than the adults and then basically then the gen alpha which is the little ones with their tablets and what was it um fortnite or fortnite and what's that game that my oh, nothing place oh no i think i keep forgetting oh, oh minecraft minecraft like oh no no it's roblox it's not your roblox those are confusing but like you know, like those stuff they have like everything in the meta version center and it's kind of like it kind of made them grow up faster but also to have jobs like influencers jobs to be able to get you know to be able to pay for things and know more things because of being an influencer or content creator and all that and i feel like millennials we kind of we were just getting into social media in like 2006 and we started going to high school for me i started going to high school in 2007 or 2000. well i don't know basically around there so we didn't start having youtube until like our high school days so we didn't have like big MySpace, but it wasn't really there there. We didn't have like where it's like in the tip of our hands, you know, like of social media and apps, Dude, especially apps. It's basically apps in general, whereas like it makes us have like anything we want to do 
in anywhere or anything. And I feel like Gen Z's, they're growing up like more faster because they have things that made them grow up faster, you know? So that's what I feel like. But I don't, well, I also don't want, I mostly, I want to stick by my side as a millennial. And um, yeah, because uh, we do have where, we do have where we have kind of like immature, but where it's kind of like, we can't be the new adults. But then we are. But then, since all, and I'm like 31, and I still don't know how to drive. I still gotta learn how to drive, and maybe that'll help me to grow up more. But other than that, I haven't really, like, and also they have the hookup culture. We live in a day and age where it's like, we have hookup apps, like, what's it called? Like dating apps, dating apps, now dating apps. It's like, it used to be like where it wasn't really a big thing. It was like, back then it was like eHarmony or stuff like that for the older people. But now we have like dating apps for like, even like for everybody to use or something like that and OnlyFans and stuff like that that got people wanting to be mature and do mature things and all that. So that's what I kind of feel like and but I feel like with millennials we had the best childhood because we were growing up in both before the internet age and in the internet age after. So we kind of had both worlds collide of being a millennial because we had where we had CDs, we had DVDs, and nowadays everything is like digital. So then it's kind of like, and the Gen Zs, all they experienced was mostly digital. And well, it's mostly, but it's mostly the Gen Alpha. They definitely are the ones that are basically has to deal with the little ones, basically. There's one that's definitely digital. Because everything is there digital tablets, phones, cell phones, TVs, apps, and etc. that people can go on wristwatch. Technology, I don't even know about all I'm not even tech savvy and all those types of stuff But I do know like social media Where like I always remember Like I when I was little Like I had like in middle school days When I was more skinnier and I wasn't fat But then I always miss like I wish like Oh I wish I had social media like people Nowadays where they're able to Document or capture when they were Like skinnier or had a life Or you know in Hawaii and I miss I wish I could have like you know took more pictures why if I didn't have a cell phone that time because I didn't have cell phone until like high school and they have cell phones like in elementary or middle school like that's when they start getting like cell phones you know for the Gen Z's and Gen Alphas but uh yeah or something like that I'm not really accurate but that's why I was like saying like it's not funny how they like to hate on the millennials but it's not funny and I like to like despise them because of them hating on us especially but they also the other ones older Older ones, but it's also because we kind of look the millennials. Um, some of us were we kind of look like we're aging not backwards, but we're kind of like we look more yeah, not I would say younger than Gen Z because there's some Gen Z's where they just they definitely look like their age. But I'm saying where a lot of millennials we definitely are we're still preserving our childhood or our childhood memories or things from back in the day, and I feel like that keeps us like I wouldn't say immature, but I mean, like, where we like, because we didn't have these things where nowadays, now we have, like, the like apps to, like, buy all these stuff, and now we have, like, we have money, and also where it's, like, where the college days where they really took it serious work, but now anybody can be, like, an influencer and, you know, make more money than trying to go to college and be in debt. So that's when I feel like there's, like, a war, I don't know, or something with Gen Z's and especially with the millennials and with the older people. Well, it's mostly because Gen Z, like, I didn't understand why the heck they hate millennials, like, so badly. Like, it kind of irritates me, but, because it's like, like, opposite. But now I realize there's some where we look like them and they look like us. We're different, but, like, like, vice versa or different. And we're, like, the next one after them. And I feel like they dog on us the most because, I don't know. I don't even know why they dog. I mean, I do know why, because they're, like, saying, like, oh, you know, like, we're the older ones, but we're like a decade after them, after them. Or no, before them. No, before, yeah, before them. That's what I meant. And then, so, we kind of had work. And also, the school nowadays is kind of like that. Yeah, because like, now when people wanting cell phones, and then there was always fights and stuff with cell phones and all that. So, I feel like with Gen Z's, they, it's because they have more stuff to document. And also because of social media and apps. And with millennials, I feel like every generation definitely needs to be studied. So... That's something that I do feel like where it's like why we are the way we are, you know? So, yeah. Peace, Chapa. So that's my TED Talk or whatever as a millennial talking about why I feel like Gen Z's are aging quicker than millennials or 
Excel.